is rolling. Uh, hey, this is the uh, this is the this is Southern Distilling. This is the starting point of Take That Hill. What we're doing today is we're doing a little uh, route recon with Manana, the designer of the route. He's you're the designer, man. You're the make sure there aren't any uh, bridges out. That's right. Well, we got a. Evidently, we have a. Ain't going any further. We ain't going any further here because we've got a. We've got a chain. <laughs> I took us in. I took us. Sorry, took us down our first dead end road. <laughs> uh, when you all arrive at, at uh, Take That Hill, this is what you'll see. Uh, the the folks here at. Uh, you don't know if you can see them with my GoPro, but they've got miniature donkeys here, so they're going to be a part of the festivities. Uh, miniature donkeys. That we'll last have a, year had they had go, we'll have goat we had goats last year we're gonna have donkeys this year and uh so it's gonna be pretty awesome so this is start point this is where it's all gonna happen. okay so uh yeah we're out uh reconning the take that hill route and one of the one of the cool things about your journey on take that hill we are on the other side of we've already done barrett mountain this is about 45 miles into the 80 mile route uh, you get to come through downtown taylorsville north carolina what do you think about that, my young? I love Taylorsville. Man, what's not to love about Taylorsville? Let me tell you a little story. When we were all kids growing up here in Iredell and Alexander County, this was the cruising spot. <laughs> like all the kids from, all the teenagers from Statesville would come to, let's go to Taylorsville and go cruising. So when you're riding this route, you're gonna get to cruise Taylorsville, um, town of about, I don't know, 5,000 people? Probably. Yeah, about 5,000 people. Apple Festival, home of the Apple home of the Festival. Apple Festival, and home of Harry Gant, NASCAR driver back in the '80s and '90s. That's right. It's a beautiful little town, and you'll love it here. Low traffic all the time, so don't worry about that. Tuesday, the Jeff. Yeah. That's all right. So, uh, yeah, the other interesting part about uh, Taylorsville is home of the, one of the shortest railroads in the United States of America, the Alexander Railroad, and there it is, right there. It's a 17 mile stretch of track. And the name of the, they have a, a green engine, it's called the June Bug. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah, it's called the June Bug. So, um, for those of you that are riding the 80 miler, um, when you get to this road, this is just leaving Taylorsville, there's a road that all, uh, the, all the locals ride, it's called Tower Road. You're welcome to ride it, I, <laughs> if you want. Um, it's, it goes up, and it's called Tower Road because there's a tower up it, but it's a quarter mile, um quarter mile stretch of road um and dead ends at the top and there's a tower up there so i call it tower road there's a big water tower big water tower and cell phone towers um but um this is it here uh, tower road and it goes up that way dead end <laughs> oh we're driving up it okay well we might as well so as you come up this thing um, you get to a point where, and you really can't feel it in a car, uh, but you can feel it on a bicycle. Right here, it's about 12%. Um, and as you round this curve right here, um, it's going to get uglier. Um, there's only a couple people that live up here, and this is kind of one of our destination rides. Um, and as you make this left turn here, um, it goes, <laughs> it goes to 24%. So right here, yeah, you can see that. Yeah. And it's ugly. I've been riding on this thing many a time where dudes were walking their bikes. Yes. And yeah. zigzagging. This was not be any problem for people in the Tour de France. But for us, normal it's human beings, non-dopers. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why they call it Tower Road. All right. Another optional segment in Take That <laughs> Hill this year. Two hills to take if you want to. Don't recommend it, though. So we just realized we got to the top of uh, Tower Road and Manana just said, uh, I just took the KOM. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you $100 if you leave it on there. <laughs> just for I'm, a I'm little while. all kinds of phone calls. Oh, you'll be getting phone calls. 27 miles an hour <laughs> up Tower Road. <laughs> There's the tower. So one of the things you're going to get to see on the 80 mile route is Rocky Face, which is a recreation area now, but it was a, back in the day, it was a, a, a rock quarry. Right. And there was a prison. I didn't know that. There's a, yeah, there's a little road up here called Prison Camp Road. 
and there was a prison right next to it, and that's what the prison they did. Worked in the busting corner. rocks. Huh. That's that what they did back in the 20s. You went to jail, you got to bust rocks. So that's one of the things that you'll be able to see is Prison Camp Road uh, out here in beautiful Alexander County. This is about, I don't know, say 50 miles in. Yeah, yeah about 50 miles into the route. It's beautiful undulating uh, terrain. Um, and um, I think the route is what, uh, is it? Is it 20% gravel or a mixed surface? About 15 to 20%. 15 to 20% mixed surface. So it's not, you know, it's not a, it's not unbound, right? I mean, you know, we're not, we're not trying to be that. Uh, but what we are trying to be is let people see a beautiful part of America and ride for veterans. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, this is, uh, again, we're still in, this is Alexander County. We're going back towards Iredale County. And it's a road that, that we've ridden on a number of occasions and uh, there's some really incredible views we just left a ridge line um, and you're gonna I'm, I didn't want you know the camera kind of it doesn't really do it justice you know uh, when you're doing it on the camera but uh, this is one of our this is one of our favorite places to come ride and so this big sweep in left-hander here kind of an off camber turn so you got to be careful here but this view of this valley is just uh, stunning um, those are the brushy mountains there ahead of us um, and um, I think you'll find that uh, uh, it'll be well worth your trip uh, to Statesville, North Carolina uh, to come ride along with us out here. What do you think, Money Hunter? Can't wait. Yeah? He's all fired up about it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is our first section of gravel uh, here in uh, Alexander County. Uh, it's called Gilreath Road. It's one that's ridden by our local gravel heads. Uh, Ross and who's Ross's buddy that he rides? Kent. Kent. Kent Ross and Kent Day. So they come out here and ride this stuff all the time, and um, it's a uh, pretty. Uh, you're gonna enjoy it, man. It, it's just it's beautiful, and again, the great thing about gravel, you don't have to deal with cars, um, and you get to see some beautiful stuff, man. A lot of creeks to cross, and like bridges, not actual creeks. You don't have to get in the water, <laughs> no, right? No fording in creek. No fording creeks, you know. So, uh, uh, gonna be uh, gonna be a beautiful day. You're gonna love it. Got a couple more gravel sessions to show you. Okay, hey, we're still on uh, Gilreath Road. Um, and so, as we're on the descent now, it goes up, pretty, pretty significant climb. Yep. What do you think, 8% uh, in places? I'd say 8%. Yeah, 8%. Uh, there's some, there's some, uh, you know, there's some turns that you need to be aware of. A um, couple of hair, there's a hairpin right there, you know, and uh, there's new gravel on this road now. So, you know, maybe probably by October, things are gonna, things are gonna get a little more packed down uh, by then. I doubt they uh, re-gravel it before then, uh, but um, sections, this section looks really, really good. Um, not a terrible amount of washboards, um, but uh, yeah, looking really good. And it's beautiful scenery. Got a creek off to your right and uh, alone in the woods. So, hey, this is the second gravel road. It's called Hose Road. Um, it goes, it's coming down off of the mountain. So this is the, this is the descent part. Um, it's not terribly steep. It's probably five, six percent going down, something like that. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. And it ends up on uh, a, a road that a lot of us ride. Uh, one of the big climbs, it's like a category. It's brushy a three uh, or a two. Or four. It's, it's like six miles long. So oh, so it's got to be a two then, right. if it's that long, huh? Well, yeah, probably a category three climb. I don't know, it's got some steep spots on it. It does. So, but anyhow, this is a, runs kind of parallel to that, and this is taking us down off of the mountain, um, toward, back towards Statesville. And um, so, uh, this is the second section of gravel, uh, Hose Road. So this is what you, you can expect on the 80 mile route. Mortify. Third section of gravel, uh, we have, uh, we're starting to head back in towards Iredell County. Um, this section is um, relatively not as many hills on this one. I think there's maybe one climb on this one. One climb, yeah. Um, and uh, again, probably a couple miles, something like that. Yeah, a couple miles of uh, just, you know, man, riding through uh, North Carolina countryside, you know. And uh, between here and the last section, there's probably a mile and a half section of, of uh, paved road that is. It starts out fairly flat and there's a little hill to get up to where we are now um, but um, yeah this is another really um, 
you know, spectacular, um, you know, mixed surface section. So uh, I think you'll really enjoy it. And now you're you're heading back towards the world famous Love Valley. Cowboy Capital. The Cowboy Capital. And if you've never heard of the Cowboy Capital, maybe when we get over here, we'll uh, we'll do a little uh, video uh, from Love Valley. But uh, it's a super special place here in our part of the world, and you'll want to come back for sure because it's unique. Leonard Skinner played at Love Valley in, in the Almond Brothers in 1971 or 72. My mom was pregnant with my brother. When the, <laughs> nice. They came over here to watch it. The, oh, your mom came to watch it. Oh yeah, she and my no dad did. Yeah. Were your mom and dad kind of uh, counterculture at the time? Maybe in the closet counterculture. In the closet counterculture. It's hard not to come and watch the Almond Brothers. That's there. right. You, you never know what. Close. You never know what stories you're going to get when you come to take that hill. <laughs> About the time my mama and my daddy were smoking weed, went to see the Almond Brothers. I didn't say that. that. I didn't say that out loud. <laughs> you're going to be gravel riding though. So this road, we haven't figured out what the name of this road is yet. It's road. It's called Dirt Road. Uh, but like you can see, you know, down the road where you're going, got all these beautiful farms down here in this valley. Um, man, y'all are going to dig this. So, yeah, man coming up on a uh, feathered critter right here. So when you ride take that hill, you just might get to see somebody like that. <laughs> the house back there set, had a sign out front that said what? Raising chickens and children. Raising chickens and chillins. <laughs> yeah, man. You're going to get, y'all are going to get a dose of culture when you come here. Not only culture, but you're going to have some beautiful views. Look at this. You're going to love it. It's fabulous. Probably about 60 miles in, where we're at right now. Yeah, 60, yeah. 65. 60, 65 miles in. Yeah, it's going to be great. Oh, his old manana is doing his good deed of the day, saving the turtle from, from dying. He was moving pretty good coming across the road. You'll get the opportunity to save turtles when you come to take that hill. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a great part about, you know, riding, using Strava as you're mapping when you're, when you're reconning a route is you get all the KOMs. Look at, look at you. Oh, you're, you better speed up. Yeah. You're not going to, you're not going to get it. <laughs> oh, he's in the green. He's in the green. <laughs> Somebody's care. I will. I'll give you ten dollars if you would just leave it up for like an hour. <laughs> yeah. Like everybody's like, Aaron, what a great ride you had. How did you hold forty miles an hour up Fox Mountain? This is hard work. Training. Yeah. The Rambo. Ah! The Rambo training plan and yeah. better living through chemistry <laughs> or Ford. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fourth section of gravel. We don't know that. The last road we were on was Pilgrim Church Road. Uh, we don't know what the name of this one is yet, but we got it. We just don't know what the name of it is. It looks pretty good out here though. All right, so the road we just left was uh, Fox Mountain Road, and now we're on Bacon Road. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so should we set up a stand alongside with here bacon. with bacon on it? Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. People might be wanting some bacon after doing all that climbing. Needing some bacon. So after about right here, you're we probably people have probably done what 5,500 feet of climbing by the time we get to here. Uh, probably something like that. So you can tell we're getting into Love Valley because there's a lot of horse trailers um, and horse and, poop uh, on the road and horse poop on the road. So a lot of horse trailers. So that was Bacon Road, and uh, we're coming up into this is I mean this is like Love Valley like proper There's a lot of campers and stuff so love valley is a unique uh, uh place uh in Ardo county um it um actually we're coming up um this is this is the official this is the town of love valley um coming up here and of course there's a giraffe with a with a saddle on it and uh so um Love Valley was started uh, back in the uh, late 60s by a guy who wanted to have an old western town in North Carolina. And it's an actual place. Um, they're incorporated. That's right. Yeah, they're incorporated. They have their own uh, sewage system and, you know, all that. And, and so 
as you come rolling into Love Valley, um, you'll um, you'll uh, you'll see that there's a sign that'll say no car no cars past this point, and that's the that's the entrance. And uh, and uh, but inside the town is um, it's an old western town, right? <laughs> you know, and uh, it it looks like something, right? That's the boardroom right there. And, uh, <laughs> welcome to Love Valley. And there's actually a horse pulled up, hitched up at the hitching at the post. Saloon, yeah. uh, it's one of the coolest places you could ever come visit. And so maybe when you're here for Take That Hill, uh, you can. It's only it's only 20 minutes from uh, Southern Distilling, and you can maybe you can ride back up here and take a walk, and have you and, and wet your whistle at the at the saloon because they have one of those, right? They do. It's pretty crazy. So the town of Love Valley. And open firearms are allowed. Almost for sure. Encouraged. Almost encouraged. So I will tell you this: so when when Jack, my son, was young, I brought him up here one day, and. I was telling him about Love Valley and he didn't, I said, there's a town it, where we live where only cowboys are allowed. And he was like, that is not true. He was probably six years old. And we came, I said, I'll take you there. So I, I drive, drove him up here and we parked over here, right? And we walked in, there was nobody in Love Valley. It was like a Sunday afternoon, there was nothing going on. And we walked in the town, it was like a, it was like a ghost town, right? And then at the end of the road, uh, these two guys came riding up on horseback, <laughs> full cowboy regalia, pistols, right, six shooters, right, everything. and they rode right up to us, and the dude looked down off his horse at Jack, and he said, howdy, partner, <laughs> like it was scripted or something, and Jack was, like his mouth hung open, and the guy said, uh, you want to ride on a, on a real horse, and uh, he said, Dad, do you mind if I take him around Love Valley for a minute? I was like, I don't mind at all. And J he grabbed Jack like he didn't weigh nothing, slung him up on that horse and rode him around Love Valley. It was pretty dang cool, man. So uh, That is uh, awesome. You can come to Love Valley, <laughs> ride a horse, cowboy capital. All right, so we basically covered the gravel sections of the 80 miler. We did miss one section. There's one short section that's going to be off to the... Uh, to the east of us here but um that's basically uh basically what you're looking at and there's some really just really cool sections of road to ride so so the 35 mile it just stays close to home uh, close to the distillery uh, loop there it does come out uh here to love valley the rest stop for the 35 miler and for the 80 miler the same thing um we've of course sort of overlapped some of those roads um, and then the 60 miler and the 80 miler will also share a rest stop as well uh, at the base of the KOM. And so, so here's the way it's going to work. The KOM is going to be a time segment from one time up Barrett Mountain from the bottom to the top. And then you, it's a dead end road and so you're going to turn around. There'll, be, there'll also be a rest area at the top of Barrett Mountain as well. We'll have some folks up there to take some pictures and things like that. Maybe some drone footage and then all along Barrett Mountain, the neighbors that live up there, they're gonna be out in full force with cowbells to welcome you to Barrett Mountain. So it should be pretty cool. So, uh, but it's gonna be a great, so we're like three months, man. Yeah. Just over three months. Yeah. So, so um, I just just quick update, little, little update on, on just me personally. I will not be participating in Take That Hill this year because I have gone and torn a quadricep tendon in my leg um, actually trying to do a good deed so, long story short I was there was a kid in front of me at a convenience store and he was buying some snacks and stuff and didn't have enough money in his pocket to buy a bag of Doritos nacho cheese flavored mind you and so I was just like you know man the Lord just kind of whispered in my ear and I was like all right I'm gonna buy those Cheetos those Doritos for this kid and so he got in his car, I'm trying to catch him. He's driving out of the parking lot and he gets to a stoplight at the corner of where this gas station is and this other road. And there was some landscaping in between me and him. And anyhow, I'm, I'm waving the bag of Doritos, shaking them at him. Hey man, I, you forgot your Doritos, man. I bought your Doritos for him. And I, I pushed off on my right leg and it freaking exploded. And I, and I face planted in the, in the landscaping. So, 
had surgery uh, last Friday. So uh, yeah, I'm in an immobilizer. Uh, I'm not even gonna bend my leg for another month. So uh, um, there'll be no bike riding for me. Definitely not up there at Mountain. So I might be in a car. So officially I'm the uh, race director this year. So that's my official title. No longer, no longer competitor, <laughs> only race director. But anyhow, hey, thanks for everybody for signing up. Uh, this is really gonna be a, a great event. Um, got some, a lot of people to thank, Hardcore Hammers, Fox Sports, um, uh, Southern Distilling, Edward D. Jones, uh, and, and our, uh, our newest sponsor, um, uh, Dave Childers and his dog Dita. He wrote a book called God Sent the Dog, uh, and they've sponsored the event today. He's a veteran, wrote a book about his service dog. And uh, we, of course, can't, um, can't thank uh, William Wilcox enough. So remember, this year we're riding to raise money for Purple Heart Homes, and we're also raising money for Project Echelon. And you can, if you don't know who Project Echelon is, go look them up. They're another veterans nonprofit that incorporates fitness and cycling uh, into helping veterans transition from their time in service. And so uh, uh, we're really excited to have uh, them on board uh, as one of the beneficiaries of this event. So uh, enjoy all of this. Uh, we're going to put out some more videos as we get closer to the date, but that's the route recon. You got anything to add? Uh, just, it's going to be great. It's going to be, be a beautiful route. Fall in Iredell and Alexander County is going to yeah. be unbelievable. It is going to be unbelievable. And so come spend the day with us. It's coming from the route designer himself. The man with the widgets. <laughs> the widget master. So, all right. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.